So we have um, the 92 block, and we also have another block that was planted in 2004. And when we um, harvest the grape, Gorichtschmiener, very interestingly, is actually a pink variety, so people don't really know that. So when we harvest the grape, we treat it as something in between a red and white. So I allow it to sit on the skins for just about 12 to 24 hours to extract some um, extra aromatics and acidity from the skins. And then of course we gently press the grapes and cool ferment it. I think what's really uh, interesting about this Gewürztraminer is that you get a lot of typical Gewürztraminer characteristics. It's not just one dimensional uh, floral or one dimensional lychee. Uh, it's got a little bit of all those characteristics and then of course the typical spicy characteristic that the Gewürztraminer is known for. Um, what's special about this Gewürztraminer or different from in the past is it's just slightly sweeter than we've made it before. Um, we used to do it completely bone dry but this one's a one and it's a little more pleasing um, and I think that's why it got a little bit more recognition this year. actually one of my favorite grape varieties. It's what I like to call a pretty grape, you know, it has all those really nice characteristics. Um, and for me, like I said, this one was, um, it was just, it had a lot of complexity. You can smell it and then you sit it down for a couple minutes and you smell it again and it's giving you something else. And um, balance for me this year was a huge thing. Really balancing out, you know, the little bit of acidity that the virtue gives you and uh, a little bit of sweetness. So it was just really nice on the palate. So it was actually really funny that somebody had asked me a couple months ago um, what my next goal was and I actually said to win a Convey Award and when I said that I was actually you know, applying even a bronze or a silver would be wonderful and then to win a gold medal for one of my favorite varieties was just a really wonderful feeling. Um, it was also really, really nice to be able to accept this award in front of your peers and it's, it's uh, given to you by your peers and what made it really special was that a lot of my professors Rock University were actually sitting in the front row there. And of course to win uh, Best White Wine of the Year uh, just went beyond my own goals and expectations. So to surpass that one night is a really